Today I like to thank all my subscribers all over the world for making Marine Tech Hub to the highest level. Membership level 5 will get full support for one year and I will be sharing the video links. Plus I will be helping you on board the ship. Uh, people are calling me from cadet to chief engineer for different troubleshooting so that you can save time and money and off fire of the ship. So I am having my latest website. You can see Artiflex and ME all have full website of mine. So you can log in. So today uh, I am going to explain about Oxway boiler. So this is for the uh, junior engineers uh, who should know how the boiler is working. Okay. So in this picture schematic diagram we have module uh, that is the PLC. You can see PLC is the program logistic control. We have module 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay this is very important and each module have numbers. You have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's see what 0 says. 0 is saying too low water level. If it is 1, it is high steam pressure. Then 2, we have low atomizing steam. 3, we have combustion air fan running. Then you have 4 is lance inserted. 5 is flame pickup number 1. Then you have 6 is high oil temperature. 7 is low oil pressure. Then 8 is low oil temperature. Then you have five, 9 limit switch on oil wall. You can see 10 is ignition lance inserted. 11 fire in wind box. Then you have burner start stop signal. Then you have low combustion air flow. 14 is low steam pressure. 15 is purge position. So this each of the signal has got value in if you go on each of them it will show one on what each indicates okay so I will not go too much on this so we have a component here uh, you can see here this is a trip amplifier which will trigger for the start and stop of the boiler this is one component then we have the air oil controller uh, this air oil controller is made of Siemens and uh, this is DR24 with this what we can do is we can keep either this on auto mode or hand mode and you can increase the uh, setting you can go on this and increase or decrease this is one or you can go on casket and auto that is one then you see the air and oil here you can increase the decrease the, the parameters here so the buttons you can increase so this is very important this is air oil controller so one component here one more is the this is the FD fan vane positioner this is also Siemens so what will happen is when the FD fan is moving you have the this uh, spindle will move and it will indicate the position whether the FD fan is in the uh, close position or not so you have a component called uh, that is a limit switch FD fan main limit switch this uh, limit switch will touch FD fan here indicating that it is in the closed position so FD fan will start only in the closed position not in the open position this is an interlock this interlock is just kept to reduce the starting current ok once the fan starts then uh, it will start to open slowly after purging this is one of the important interlock ok and other than that we have a main burner here this is the main burner then you have a pilot burner so the pilot burner will move down and then ignition will happen then once it senses then the main burner fuel will come this will take over then the pilot burner will go up so we got a main sensor is sensor one here so this is one part of it for pilot burner we have got 
डीजल कमिंग फ्रॉम द डीजल ऑयल पंप हियर द डीजल विल कम देन वी गॉट टू सोलनाइड वॉल वन एंड टू वी हैविंग टू सोलनाइड वॉल जस्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट देर इज नो लीकेज सपोज वन सोलनाइड लीक्स Other will at least hold. That's why we are placing two solenoid wall here. Okay, the for uh, pilot burner we got the diesel oil coming here. Then you have the uh, for air we got a solenoid wall. So this also will open when the pilot burner is firing. Okay, so this is the throttle wall for that. This is one part of it. And for taking moving this pilot burner up and down, we have got the control air coming here. so the first one is a solenoid wall for inserting so the air will come here and push the cylinder down here pilot cylinder down and this is for return solenoid wall for once the pilot burner job is over so this will move up so air will come here and push the pilot burner up okay this is one part of for the pilot burner for as as far as fuel concern for the main burner you got the fuel inlet here there is a three way valve so this is the fuel so now the fuel is going straight here then you got a flow meter here then you have the uh, circulating valve here this will uh, tell how much is the flow to increase or decrease then you have the fuel oil circulate so right now the boiler not firing so oil is cut and getting some back once it starts firing this valve will open and this red will become green and the oil will come here and main burner will come. but once the main burner job is over then we have a, a steam coming here for the purging of the main burner okay normally when the boiler is firing then atomizing will take place through the steam only okay so now steam is coming and this is the atomizing steam control wall then we have the atomizing steam water separator then we have the at steam wall here then we have this is for the uh, purging so suppose the boiler is in the cold condition then there will be no steam at that time you have to open an air line so instead of steam the air will be passing and once the boiler starts firing and the pressure is built up then you can change over from air to the steam okay got it for the beginners very important first the pilot burner will come and it will be sink once the pilot okay then uh, what will happen is the main burner will be coming into use once the main is in use stabilized then the pilot burner will go up so very important for beginners make sure the fd fan you are purging it properly every time because in case you are firing on emergency then make sure you have to purge it at least minimum 2 to 3 minutes you have to purge it depends on the size of the boiler purge it so that all the flue gases goes up because one of the ship what happened uh, long time ago uh, third engine was firing the boiler and oil got collected and backfire happened and uh, poor engineer got burned third degree burn and he died so for juniors please make sure before you operate anything learn the procedures see the walls are all right so this is uh, if you have any doubt regarding the operation for the junior engineers please message me my whatsapp number is there my email is there you can call me from the ship or you can call when you are going for the exams you can call me i am trying to help all the seafarers all over the world so have a nice day